In this episode of Penny's Hot Rods and Customs, we install uh, new glass in Kevin's 52 Ford. Uh, before we get too deep in this episode, like, share, subscribe, hit that button. Hope you guys enjoy this video. It's pretty funny. Take care. Cruising for chicks soon. Oh, it's an automatic. Never mind. Why don't we put three pedals in this truck? Kevin only has two feet. Square. Anyway, hope you guys like this video. In this video, we're going to be putting uh, everything for the passenger side door. All the door glass, the window mechanism, the door, door latch, the door hand, new door handles, new window cranks. Uh, basically everything to do with the door, we're going to show you on this video. Uh, this is basically all you need, plus the door glass behind, behind Derek. Um, a lot of this stuff is, uh, we got reproduction parts from uh, uh, Dennis Carpenter. Uh, a lot of it is not perfect. Don't expect this stuff to go in very easy. Um, this is all old original equipment for the truck, except for the rubber moldings um, and the glass. We replaced the glass, but all the steel is from the original truck. Uh, we replaced, had to replace one of these because it's got, it's very rusted inside and, and has a, holes in it. So we replaced that, but that's new. This is original. The latch is original. Uh, window cranks. Um, the uh, spreader bar, I think it's called. Or division bar, that's brand new. Uh, felt is new. And we have the uh, little uh, window scrapers are brand new. Um, so the first thing you got to put in is the quarter window. Uh, also, I'm sorry to interrupt yep, you. Go ahead. We had uh, even bought uh, the new little locking mechanism with this, whatever the heck you want to call it, and how cheap they are nowadays is they don't even come with a little button in the spring. So now I've got to go try to one of our other trucks. Yeah, there's two versions of yeah. the handle, one yeah. with a lo locking pin that you push a button to open it up. and that's the one that we bought, but it doesn't come with the actually lock in it. Yeah, like how cheap. So we're on the search bucks. for a little button. Yes. I spent 30 bucks American, which is whatever, but this, you think it'd come with the complete kit instead of a, a poorly made handle. And that's well, my rant for the day. Uh, and another rant, uh, it's minor stuff, but the kit that comes with this, this uh, rubber uh, comes with screws and little spacers like that. Uh, it, they only give you two of these spacers per door. You need three per door. So we kept, we found ones off of our old door and uh, are gonna use one for each door. Plus the screws that they give you for those spacers are too short. They barely catch, they catch like one thread so we had to go buy new screws so that's just a little hint that things don't always go as uh planned planned but otherwise like the rubber fits perfectly it's and all yet, good and yet again spend like three thousand dollars at dennis carver and they give you a 50 cent window thing anyway i'm not complaining but, but i kind of am some of this stuff's good anyway let's right. go to work and we did test fit this and so the first door we've done already the driver's door uh, it took about five hours to complete because uh, we had to do we had to make fine screws and cut screws and all that jazz and also too we didn't know what the hell we're doing exactly we're yeah uh, so once that's, we got to put the three screws in place. Meanwhile there, Kevin's just twirling his beard in the corner. Guilty as <laughs> charge. Don't ever say that again. Oh boy. He's too cheap to even buy supper. We do buy the big doll. You, you guys. So Not screw me. with a brass spacer washer goes in there. 
then it's a chore to actually find the hole. That's what she said. Okay, I'll be on my best behavior. <laughs> One. And you don't want to crush it down too much. Uh, you, may, you may even want to put Loctite in some of these. Because you don't want to crush the rubber too much. That's what the that brass uh, but that's in. The top one. This is probably where we're going to be stopping the camera and then coming back and saying, yeah, we did it. Swearing at it. And... And this is a family show, so you really can't swear. Kevin's falling asleep in the background saying we're boring. Well, everything can't be exciting. <laughs> like breaking glass. It would have been, like I said. Yeah, bring it down maybe because by the time we try to fight with that one, I don't know if there's. Okay. Last screw, and you need a stubby screwdriver. Just ramrod it in there. That's what the people want to see. <laughs> Scratch the paint, and we're gonna have to sell the shop. Not the shop. Then I can collect and take up the new hobby stamps or models. Is there a duck in the building? <laughs> well, that's just Kevin. Maybe this way. That ain't gonna work. Well, I guess that's not gonna work. Could be like meatloaf and just say two out of three ain't bad. Meatloaf says that? Yeah, yeah. that's one of his songs. He thought he was bigger than all of us. Maybe I'll stop right now. Yeah, sure. We'll be back in a minute. After I get this screw in. We'll be back. Okay, well you finally got that screw in. Took a minute. Uh, next piece that goes in is this division bar. And uh, we'll put the division bar in first because you actually just put it in the window. Don't tighten anything. It just fits in there. You basically got to slide it up in there. Make sure you don't scratch anything. And it just makes it in there. Basically, and just let it sit there for now. And we're gonna get the window mechanism, throw that in the. I, I guess I can do that. And then I need a couple of the screws in the box. Oh, I got the technology. How many you need, Chris? Two or three? Yeah, two or three. You got a Phillips? So the next thing is to just put this in there, wiggle this around. Kevin has a extra hand. He can hold that there. I'm a, I'm a good helper. 
Like I said, you can't honestly, for this type of shit, you can't have enough too many hands. Exactly. How am I doing, Chris? You're doing perfect. As long as you don't start twirling your goddamn beard. No, I can't stop. Alright, now we gotta line up. Put some couple of bolts in there. Okay, uh, so we got the division bar just screwed in uh, to the top. I don't know if you can pick it up, but the bottom uh, is loose. That's the way you want it right now. Uh, the next thing is to go in is this window channel. Now, there is a hook on it. That's going to go in a little piece of metal down here. Uh, you do have to cut off, at least I found out on the other door, uh, about three inches. But what I'll do is I'll put it in and measure it in from the inside. And again, make sure you don't scratch anything. tape on the bottom or you can marker it all I gotta say is like 30 years down the road when you take this truck apart somebody's gonna redo it they're like man who the fuck did all that nice work they're like that was those guys and these hot rods and customs oh by the way if you haven't already like share subscribe hit that button just saying Cameron's shaking his head right now Scratching what five hairs he has left on the top of his head. All right. Remember, subscribing doesn't cost you anything. Free this month, it's still for January, right? Oh, yeah, today's the 10th. Yep, still free in January. What about February? February? We might have to pay you guys to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want to go cut that off? What do I look like? Yeah, I'll go do it. At, uh... The bottom? Sure. Okay. Sure, I'd rather cut once or cut twice and then... Yeah, I can't... Yes, it was at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, yeah, disc grind. grinder. We're in the 20th okay. century. Disc grind it. Another tip. Uh, those that felt get put in by uh, three screws. Um... You can't, it's hard to locate the screw, there's a screw there, there, and there for it. So what I did is put a piece of tape marked where, uh, with a marker, marked exact location of the screw is give me a, basically an idea so you're not fumbling around in the dark because there is no holes in there. Um, so I found that out on doing the other door. It makes it a lot easier. That's whack, yo. Mm-hmm. And on the bottom, in here, there's a little spring clip. It clips that, because there's no glue or anything that holds that. It just basically sits in there, down there, with the spring clip. I sure hope when it does come to the time in February, we don't have to pay people to subscribe. <laughs> That's gonna suck. <laughs> You have to wait. I'm like, I don't know where the heck I keep putting the light. I have to say one good thing that came from George, or what are they called? Yeah. Oh, uh, Dennis Carpenter. Dennis Carpenter. This actually fit nice. No. Maybe if they sponsored us, then I'd be nice and, you know. But no. Most of their stuff is okay. Some of it's just, you know, 
And you guys have all been there before with aftermarket stuff. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys seen it or if there's been past videos of it, but just putting all the window, window felt and all, or the weather stripping and all that stuff and all the factory little clips. You want to get a picture yeah, of the Pontiac? Hi guys, I heard you guys ordered a custom made glass. Here you go. Okay, I don't fucking want it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys ready to go see what we got? Hey, time for the glass. We got this, uh, the felting screwed in. Uh, so that's fairly easy. You just have to uh, basically, there, it's just, there's steel backing in here. You have to pound your uh, screw into there so you get it get it a uh, hole in there. You can drill it if you want to, but it's just easier just to mark your holes here where you are. have to go and hammer them in a bit. Uh, but make sure your glass goes in the right way. We did put in a new uh, window felt or a rubber, whatever, rubber. isolator, whatever yeah. you want to call it. This is a glass. And this is still loose. Hi, my name's Kevin. You ordered some glass. That's not nice. <laughs> now, the tricky part is... The whole thing's tricky. Yeah. Don't fool me. basically lift the glass up, Face put it in the... this channel, force this, bend this further, and then place it into that channel. Face it, people. If you're doing this, you're going to want to do it. Send it to us. Actually, don't. We'll probably break it. So I need someone to hold that there for... Yeah, I guess I could do that. I could just... It sure would be nice if somebody ordered pizza. <laughs> Okay, so we uh, got the window uh, in the track, basically push it up, put it in this track, uh, basically you push it up on the side of this, the outside of this track, then you push this uh, track over, get the window in this track first, and then force the window over a uh, quarter of an inch, and then pop it into this felt back here, and it's good to go then you got one person holding it up because it's not in the uh it's not attached to the uh, window mechanisms then gently crank down the window mechanism or gotta figure out which way it goes There. And you want it to come down all the way or most of the way. This is what attaches to the window. Uh, you want to lower the window a little bit if you can. And you can see there. And go up. That's in. Uh, bring this side down if you can. Okay. Then those are held in by little spring clips. Easy to push in. Uh, we did put grease. We did grease up everything ahead of time and moved it on the bench, so everything uh, works. So now the only thing that's not bolted is this yet, but you should be able to raise the window up, and it seals. Check the seal around there, and lower it down. Seems to 
works perfectly. Now when it's in the down position, that's when you want to put these two, need the little nuts and bolts, two of them. Stack. And a wrench to go with that. You didn't say nothing about a wrench. Hey, is there a wrench in the cap? Yeah. Yes, I got a wrench in the cap. Oh boy. There is adjustment in there. But best thing to do is let the window down. That tightens it up against your quarter window. And we got new hardware for this. A washer. Kevin's probably sweating bullets. Will it get done? It's down to four hairs if anybody's counting. <coughs> and you basically uh, tighten it. You can force this over so you can get a good, uh, good seal on your uh, vent window. And as long as the when the door glass goes up, you're good. You get the idea, and that's crack. Now the next thing to do is put the shirt. is yeah that whatever the heck it's called. Hey Derek, the, uh, yeah, you want to pass me lock mechanism, the locking mechanism. And I guess give me three bolts. Or or five bolts. Yeah. And there is a right and left, obviously. Uh, this one's for the right side. Uh, that's where the door lock, door outside door handle goes through, and that's for the uh, door lock. And uh, some of you guys may call him the hardest working guy, Kevin. He actually did a pretty good job cleaning this up. It's cleaned, it's greased. Gotta give credit where credit's due. Yep. Because I don't know why people think he's the hardest working out of all of us, but. Jealousy has an awful stench. <laughs> I know it's not my farts this time. Getting there. Oh, it's now straight in towards me. Hmm. Yeah, you're like right there. Yeah, you're like right there. Oh, keep coming. Oh, because you got to go around. Oh, because it's hitting the uh, your window channel, Dealy. This thing. Window channel. Make it underneath it. Okay. <coughs> oh, there, now we're getting there. Okay, go up. Go up a little higher. Haha. -ha. Talk about a hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a hole, it's got to breathe. We're going to have to edit that. Oh, no. That's a keeper. <laughs> okay, I got one screw started. Okay. I think probably even Glenn Nicholson heard that from here. <laughs> uh, I need three more screws. I got never locks. Check yourself here, there. And these uh, are just stainless, stainless screws we got. Like the, just like the original. Yeah, the original weren't stainless, but. Whoa, whoa, go back the other way. Okay, lift it up a scotch. No, I don't know. All right. There's a screwdriver. Well, do you want that tighter or do you want, because they're, I don't know if you want to start those guys first. And I believe you have to have the window down. Mm -hmm. To 
get this piece in. Stop it or keep going, Chris? There, I got it. There you go. Then where are those two holes for? That's a problem. Uh, should we be lined up right now? Okay. Cock it might not be the best one. Again, get a little persuasion, but yeah, I don't know why this guy isn't. If you can see it right there, maybe there you go. Hey, Derek, can I get two more of those screws? Oh, yeah, and um, we found out that we have to cut this one down shorter because it hits the uh, oh, the mechanism, yeah, yeah, Derek. You want to cut down a bolt? <coughs> Probably about three eighths off it. Yeah. I was sweating bullets. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> Alrighty. Those oh, guys up. I got. Oh, now you got it. I'd say I sure am hungry. Way to drop the ball. Hope you're happy. I'd even like little Caesars. I say we call it a night, wrap it up, cut, bedtime. A working uh, no. working lock and a working window and we don't have to sell the shop right now and this is burning my hands <laughs> nothing <laughs> now that's an action shot Yeah, get used to modifying bolts for this because you're you, sometimes you don't find you, you can't want to, find. You want to see if it goes up and down. <sighs> no excess noises. That's it's a good. Poib. So, right. what's next? Next thing is uh, we can put. The door handles on. We can put the outside. Oh, yeah, the latch. Hey, okay, so uh, the next day, uh, continuing working on this door. Uh, got a brand new ha handle from Dennis Carpenter. Uh, one thing when you're ordering this stuff, you get the bare handle. You do not get the gasket, and you do not get the screw to hold the handle in. You have to order the gasket separately, and I don't even think they sell a screw. You have to keep keep the screw from your old uh, handle but other than that they fairly easy to install it'll only go in part way and then you want to push your latch in half and then it gets caught then the screw goes in the back here I don't have a screwdriver with me but Screw goes in there. I'll have to grab a screwdriver, which I don't have. But and then uh, same thing with the uh, 
Ah. Okay. I'm gonna have a screwdriver. Now I had problems with the driver's door doing this. You need the screw, there's, the hole is not big enough to put a large screw driver in there. Okay, so we've, I finally got the uh, door handle bolted in. Uh, what I had to do is take a little die grinder and open this up because the angle of the screw was way too far. You, you couldn't get a screwdriver on there to get it in there straight. Um, I think that's just a matter of uh, just aftermarket uh, door handles. That's that's what I think, but I'll just touch that up with some paint so it doesn't rust. And the next thing. Okay, uh, take two with the handle. We had a problem with the, the pin. Uh, the uh, pins, when you order um, handles, it does not come with pins. And it doesn't come with echelons. You can get them chrome or you can get them rubber. And they also don't come with a gasket. On the back side of here so we just uh, used electrical tape to prevent it from scratching the uh, paint so you basically line it up wherever you want it to go and I want it to go right there these are spring loaded these echelons so you put the pin in and push it in and the pin drops in as it should be, but then it doesn't go out the other way. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. And then the, once it drops finally down, then the uh, echelon just bounces there, and that's what it's meant to do. Oh. Door handles the same way. Test fit the pin, just to make sure it sits in there. And they don't have to be, uh, these are just like loose pins. They don't have to be a roll pin that's tight. Okay, both door handle, the window crank and the door handles are on. Um, this one was a pain in the ass. Um, what we found out when we put it on, the echelon, like the pin would drop right through. The esch there was too much slack, like the echelon just uh, wiggled back and forth too much. It wouldn't hold it. So what we ended up having to do is well, obviously take the handle off, drill another hole in the um, arm, that the uh, pivot that comes out that holds the handle on uh, to bring it, to bring the handle in more. And that tightened up uh, the echelon. So yeah, nothing's easy on this door. Nothing at all. Hopefully next thing i'm going to do is put the little uh bump stop in hopefully that goes in without uh any modifications but that's a aftermarket one as well so we'll see oh and this is another thing if you're ordering from dennis carpenter don't buy the bump stop rubbers buy the whole kit the bump stop rubbers are not for these trucks. They are labeled wrong and everything. Okay, uh, here's the door stopper kit that comes with, uh, well, that we bought from Dennis Carpenter. Uh, as I said previously, you can, you're supposed to be able to just buy the rubber, but when you buy the rubber, it's the wrong, you get 
two pieces or one piece and it doesn't even look like that it's totally different so just and it's just cheaper just to buy the whole thing this is the pin that comes uh, with it and we're just going to put a cotter pin there on the inside and be done with it so this can be done right now there that's all that needs to be done then light in here and slide it through the slot in the door line up the uh, in now I'll just spread the uh, cotter pin a bit just to hold it there it's not coming off so now the door doesn't isn't gonna swing open all the way so one more item off my uh, checklist of this difficult door next thing is uh, oh, the light won't shut off now next thing is to put the anti-rattle fuzzies in uh, I'm not gonna say anything good about them because they're a piece of crap uh, they give you new spring clips with them. We, um, basically they, uh, clip on to there when you push it in and just hold it in. You basically put these in the door frame first and then push these over top. Uh, I recommend squishing these teeth beforehand before you put them in the door because they're spread wide open uh, we did that on the other door they're wide and we tried to squish them in the door and we had nothing but problems we had to pull them all out again and that's in a freshly painted door and had to squish them in a vise and then it seemed to work okay so I recommend you uh, squish those before Push the window down all the way. And they give you 10 of these. I'll show you putting in a couple of them. You have your tool? Yep, I got my tool. Uh, we found that uh, just a little brake tool, angle brake tool works pretty good. when the window is in the way and it falls in the door so we'll try number two okay prop the door in yeah, the window okay it's somewhat in the hole so you just give it a press and wiggle and it's in I'll dig the one out of the door in a little bit And that one falls in. As I said, these things are, you could probably put a piece of tape on here, hold them, but I like doing things the hard way.
That's in. I'll just show you, but because uh, I want to put the other five clips in first. You may have to trim this as well. And I can see right now I can have to trim it. If I put that, it's overlapping over here into the uh, channel there. So I'll have to trim it, test fit it, and then pop it in. So we'll do that off camera because trimming it, it's easy. Just tin snips or grinder. And I'll pop in the other uh, five also. And I'll show you the final installation. So we'll be right back. Okay, uh, I've got all the clips in and I've uh, trimmed uh, the, these down. I had to trim both sides. Uh, I just had to trim about an uh, eighth of an inch, maybe. Um, it might be different for different your different trucks, but you basically just slide it in and then push it down and hopefully the teeth will on those clips will grab it. And missed that one. That one's in. But this is not in. Careful you don't scratch the paint. Okay, that one started, that one started, and that one fine. It doesn't click or anything like that. It just seems to sit there and those clamps just barely hold on. Uh, they're self-explanatory. This one has a little dip in it. That's for this handle. So you can't go, there's a right and a left door. Let me basically do the same thing. Try and get one side into the clip those are in side yeah, that side isn't Okay, now it's in. I've heard some guys that they had to have so much problems with these things that they had to actually glue them in. And I can see why. Uh, the, this one, like the inside one, you can see that you can actually feel it with your when you're uh, grabbing for the door handle here. But uh, otherwise... Window moves up and down nicely still. 
and pretty much basically what those window scrapers are for they're not to prevent water from going down because the these doors are meant to have the water go drip down the middle of the door and out the bottom of the hole uh, they're just there for just dirt and debris pretty much uh, and yeah that's about it for uh, got one other thing I think for this door as I said we don't have the uh, uh, the latch for that so that's you can't put that in the only other thing I can put in on this door is uh, the lineup striker lineup uh, piece that I gotta uh, go find some bolts and see how that fits so we'll be right back after these important messages okay uh, last thing to go on is the uh, I guess the lineup striker so there's a spacer that came with it it's not painted uh, I'll pull either pull it off uh, later and paint it or I'll just take a use a brush and paint it the same in green we got new screws it's the same screws that hold the all the uh, window mechanism and the door latches in So that's on now now that seemed easy but these are new or reproduction we had to significantly modify it we had to grind this edge down because uh, it was only catching on the first uh, it's just because the brand new rubber and and uh, I don't want to shave down the rubber and because the door fits fits nicely so we had to modify that a little bit uh, so don't be afraid if you come across that but but yeah that fits nicely nice gap And that's pretty much for this door we got I don't know we didn't show you putting the mirror on we had that on earlier um, that was another funny thing as you can see there's no mirror we uh, put it on close the door or attempt to close the door the mirror fell out, out of the mirror so yeah just one of those things with this side uh, we do have a lock. We, well, we don't. We, we do and we don't. We pulled it off of our parts truck. This one didn't have any lock in it. Uh, so we pulled one off of our parts truck, but it seized in the door. So we actually had to cut out the the door. Don't worry, the door's rotten. Anyways, it can't be used. Um, so we're going we're to pull that out and get a key made for it and put that in here. Uh, but yeah, other than all the weather strippings on other than the the door plate here uh, this door is now complete well, except for that but you know about that but yeah this door is complete so it does take a lot a long time and if you're using a bunch of aftermarket parts like we do it does take a little bit of modifications don't don't be afraid to grind things and um, if you're doing a show truck, you'd probably put all that stuff in before you painted it, uh, just to see how it fits, and then pull it out and then paint it. Uh, but sometimes the paint gets into screw holes and, that, and you have to chip that out too. So, But I'm very happy. The window rolls up uh, beautifully. The door closes nice now. Gaps are nice. Uh, so I'm very happy. It's it's a closed cab right now. So thank you for watching. Look and uh, subscribe, comment, uh, do all the things. Tell your friends uh, to subscribe too. We can always use more subscribers. That always helps. So thank you, and we'll see you on the next video on this thing.